Right, what's Russell's choice? Grumpy kids. Yeah. Yeah, exactly, right? I was... <laughs> I was in a restaurant the other day and I heard a child said, oh, Wagamama again. <laughs> I used to lose my mind when I went to a harvester. Lose my mind. <laughs> Go into school the next day, salad bar, amazing. <laughs> I had an Italian dish called a lasagna. <laughs> I've got everything. They're whining. They've got wheels in their shoes. iPads. Sky Plus. If you'd have shown me Sky Plus when I was 10, I'd have thought you were a wizard. Like that. <laughs> Pulls in telly. And, like, could have been so much worse to just... Every kid I seem to do, like, I'm talking about 10-year-olds, just whining, tubby messes. And... <laughs> just, I just, it just does my head in. But it could have been worse. You could have grown up in the 80s, where, you know, the telly was awash with offenders, and, <laughs> you know, we, it was, you know. <laughs> and, like, think of the hours we played the recorder. The hours we did that. <laughs> have we ever needed it in our... I've never been at a party, and I want this needs. <laughs> <laughs> Girls in the corner, do you know Little Donkey? You know I do. <laughs> We have a picture of you when you were, uh, I think, 12 year old. Oh, really? Uh, Russell. Okay. Oh, there you go. Oh. Oh. Happy child. <laughs> well, I haven't seen that for a long time. I look a bit like Harry Potter's German pen pal. <laughs> <laughs> like, who would have thought that when I sat for that picture, it would end up on telly and people would just be like. I know. Yeah, just. Just smile. The... What's the worst that could happen? All right. <laughs> When I was at school, the big game for us was a thing called pile-ups, where one kid lay on the floor and 50 kids <laughs> lay on top. You'd be on the bottom thinking, shouldn't my rib cage be inside my blazer? <laughs> I feel a bit sorry for kids now, though. I live in quite a sort of a posh bit of London, and I think the kids there just don't get enough sugar. <laughs> Completely. You know, they ask, they ask for a cornetta, they get a little box of raisins. It's, it's that, that's not parenting. Well, exactly. <laughs> I remember, like, my, remember Angel Delight now? There's a pudding. Yes. <laughs> you have one bite of that, you know, I'm going on the roof! <laughs> <laughs> my, and my sister, my sister is one of the greatest moments in the Howard family. My, my sister's eating Angel Delight. She goes, Dad, what's Angel Delight made of? And my dad just went, Dead Angels. <laughs> Me and my brother are like, this is the best day ever. I mean, I love the radio. I've not listened to your show on the radio because it's too early, but I love the radio in the morning. It's a podcast. I mean, even the action's disturbing, isn't it? <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Somebody comes up to your table, you've got some food in front of you, you're about to enjoy it, 